So today we're going to do a second launch control video. And the reason we're doing a second launch control video is I only did launch control in sport mode. And today we're going to do launch control in track mode. But I want to show a couple of things, uh, show you a couple of things here on the dash that uh, you need to know so you can see what I'm going to do before I do it today. So, let's so what I wanted to show you today is can you get into launch control in performance traction management, PTM, can you get into launch control while you're driving along here? Can you do that? Or do you have to come to a stop? I thought I had to come to a stop. I thought that's the only way I could get in. But it isn't. Watch this. I'm going to put it in, make sure I'm in track mode here, which I am, I'm in track mode. Going to hit that button down there twice, once, twice, guess what? And then turn it again to get in maybe sport one, bingo, I'm ready to go. So I can be in um, launch control, Look, you know, the, that scenario if you were pulling up to a, uh, you were pulling up to a uh, traffic light on a track, of course, and there was a Mustang there or something that needed to be spanked, you know, what the heck. <laughs> so you can put yourself in launch control or performance traction management while the car is moving, but you have to be either in sport or track mode or you get nada, nothing. <laughs> so, and the other thing that's interesting, if when you turn the car off, and now if I had to turn it back on, everything is back to normal and I'll show you what I mean. Let me start it again. All of these lights are going to go off. The radio is going to, the only thing that's going to go on is a damn radio. All right, so there you have it. You can get into launch mode and performance traction management while the car is moving. How cool is that? Before we go to the launches today, I thought I'd take a look at this one page. It's in the uh, operating manual for the C8 Corvette. It says this light, that light you see, is on when the vehicle is in performance traction management mode. Now, that little symbol there on the top left-hand corner with the card with the little squigglies and the word off, uh, that's the same symbol you see on the button on your dash on the right-hand side when you push it twice to get into launch control. It says to select this optional handling mode, the vehicle must be in track mode. Then quickly press that little symbol uh, on the center of the console two times. Performance traction wet, ESC on displays in the driver information center. So um, first of all, I'm always forgetting what ES ESC means it's electronic stability control. So. You're going to see that in just a minute. <clears throat> so I, I, I uh, put it in track mode. I hit the button twice, and I will, I'm going to see uh, performance traction wet. Now I'm going to skip over to what these five are because later on I'm going to come back to this uh, performance traction management in another video. So let's go to the five uh, performance modes that you can go in when you're in track mode. The first one, performance traction wet. Electronic stability control is on, uh, antenna for all, drivers of all skill levels, wet and damp conditions only. That's, I think that's kind of important here, wet and or damp conditions only, not intended for use in heavy rain or standing water. Well, you almost don't want to use a car in heavy rain or standing water. <laughs> I mean, you get in a lot of trouble. Stability track and electronic stability control is on and engine power is reduced based on conditions. So I'm sure the more your tires slip or spin, um, the less power the system is going to give you. Okay, that's that's the first one. The second one is performance traction dry. Electronic stability control is on for useful as experienced drivers, dry conditions only. Stability track and uh, electronic stability control is on and engine power is slightly reduced. Okay, that's the second one. The third one, traction, uh, performance traction sport one, which we're going to do today, 
electronic stability control is on for use for drivers who are familiar with the track. Dry conditions only requires more driving skills than mode two. And stability track and electronic stability control are on, and more engine power is available than in mode two, which is the last one we just. Um, and the fourth one is performance traction sport two. We're going to do that today too. Electronic stability control is off for use for drivers who are familiar with the track. Drive conditions only requires more driving skill than two or three, the last two modes. Um, stability track and electric electronic stability control is off, and engine available engine power is the same as mode three. Okay, and the last one, number five, is race. Electronic stability control is off. So you notice in Sport 2 and in race, uh, electronic stability control is off. For use by experienced drivers who are familiar with the track, dry conditions only requires more driving skill than the other modes. Stability track, electronic stability control is off, and engine power is available for maximum cornering speed. Notice that's a cornering speed. We're going to come back to this again about cornering speed, which is very, very interesting. But anyway, we're going to do Sport 1, which is the third one, Sport 2, which is the fourth one, and Race, which is the final one. So we're going to do that today. So without further ado, let's go. And uh, we have, by the way, we have a very a, a new uh, place to do our launch control. This I've we got rid of the curve. I know you're all going to miss the curve. We got rid of the curve, and we actually have a straight piece of pavement. I don't think the pavement is as good as the other pavement we're on, and it's a little bit slipperier than the one we were on before. But let's let's go and do this thing and have some fun. This is the first one of the day here, and uh, one of the things I forgot to show you was over here on this setting, there's a button on the left-hand side, button on the right, and there's a little scroller in the center. Now, if I move this to the left or I move it to the right, you notice one of the things that showed up, let me go back here, uh, one of the things that showed up was 060 performance. That's the way you want to start and you accelerate to start. So what happens is you have to come to a stop and then reset this. So I'm going to push that button for reset. But if you if you start to move, like if I'm in drive, if I start to move, the timer starts, see? So what you want to do is hit the reset, which is this center button right here. It's a scroller. It's a roller type, but you can roll it and uh, pick up more stuff too if you want. But I just, we're using zero to 60 today. So let's concentrate trade on that. And now I'm in track mode. And now I'm going to push the button twice, and it's going to give me some options. Wet, dry, sport one, sport two, and race. Okay. And now let me go back. Sport two, sport one. We're going to do sport one today, then we're going to do sport two, and then we're going to do race. Okay. Well, we're going to try to anyway. So let's get it on sport one, which we've got it on. We're ready to go. A little bit sun there on the left, a little glare, but... That'll go away when I turn the corner. So um, I'm going to wait for my my photographer over there who's going to tell me when it's clear to pull out here. And I think we're going to be clear in just a moment. Okay. Brake full on. Reset. The zero to 60 time, and we're ready to go. Three point two. All right.
Okay, now we're going to reset that. I got to reset it again when I get up. But I'm going to change the mode. Um, let's see if I can change it from here. Now I, I was on Sport 1, and now I'm going to Sport 2. So now we're going to make a run in Sport 2. And I got to remember to reset my, uh, my thing here, too. So let's uh, put it in drive. We're ready to go in Sport 2. And not yet. We'll wait till the, uh, the traffic clears. And I got to remember to set my performance timer back again. And I think we can pull out now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Reset. Here we go. Let's go. Okay, third and final time. We'll get this thing in a third and final pass here this morning. And this is in, let me show you, this is in uh, race mode. So we're in race mode. Here we go. Okay, let's let her rip. Two point nine. Two point nine. Huh. Interesting. We did uh, launch with sport mode, three launches. We did uh, three launches in track mode. And um, I think the two, I probably should have gone back to the road with the uh, curve because that surface is a newer surface and it seems to have a little bit more grip. There's a little bit more sand on the surface we just went on today. so. Uh, I think there's a little bit of difference in the two surfaces. They aren't both identical. And when you're trying to do a comparison, it's really hard to do it if you, ha if, if you don't uh, have everything stay consistent. From my old science mind, you're trying to keep everything uh, exactly the same and not throw any variables in there. But anyway, uh, I also noticed that the best time I had both in sport mode and in track mode was the final uh, launch that I did. Um, the times were pretty consistent. They were um, within a few tenths. I guess that can be allowable. The gas, I had about the same amount of gas. It was about ooh, maybe eight or 10 degrees warmer today uh, than it was when I did the sport mode launch, the previous video to this one. Um, I wanna thank my camera gal, Patty. My wife, who always does a great job on the camera, she took some great pictures from the outside of the car today. She always does a great job with that. Thank you, Patty. And uh, I want to thank the people at Corvette who build these amazing cars. I'm having a hell of a lot of fun with this car. It really is a blast. And uh, best Corvette I've ever owned. Easy. I don't need, it's easy to come up with that. <laughs> the next one is going to be PTM. For all you smart guys out there, what the heck is PTM? Performance traction management. How does that work? How does that ask me? How does it help me go around corners? 
best, or does it? We're going to explore that in the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and if you've got this far, thank you very much. Uh, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. The subscribe button doesn't cost you anything. Hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment. Love to hear what I read every comment. I read them all. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. So until the next time, thanks for viewing and see you again.